Okay, uh, we've taken these lock cylinders and I have gone ahead and let them sit in the freezer overnight. Uh, you can probably see, hopefully the camera will pick up the ice crystals and whatnot on here. Um, maybe try and get it to focus a little bit better on that. Let's see if it'll come in here. Um, and uh, so you can see where I touch it. It's, it comes, starts to thaw a little bit. Um, and I don't know exactly how cold that fridge gets uh, or the freezer gets, but I know I left them in there overnight and I know it keeps about uh, 400 pounds of meat cold all the time, uh, frozen solid. So uh, it's definitely plenty cold in there, um, as cold as you're going to come across in an environment. Uh, so the whole point of this test is to see um, oil has a viscosity rating and any of the oily based lubricants are going to thicken up in a cold atmosphere. Uh, anybody knows when you go to start your car when it's cold, the oil just is like molasses. Um, so I want to see how that affects all of these and we'll just go ahead and these are fresh out of the freezer. This is the dry Teflon. Works perfect, no problem. Very smooth. This is the Tri-Flow. That one's a little stiff and sticky. Uh, definitely more resistance uh, with this one here. Um, so definitely a little bit more resistance there, but it, it does still operate. Oh, one more thing I did want to add. Uh, from the time that we did the uh, water, I did bake these locks one more time before I put them in the freezer, because I know obviously if they're full of water, they're not going to work properly. So we did bake all the water out of these uh, one more time and heat treat them again. So PT FE spray, very difficult to get the key in and definitely some, feels like it's kind of trying to break it loose as we go in there. So, um, you know, probably even worse than the, the tri-flow or maybe equal to. Uh, as far as resistance goes for that one opening right there. All right, multi-use Teflon lubricant. This is really cold on my hands. Definitely getting some resistance there. Uh, probably more so than the other two as well. Um, quite a bit of force needed to put that in there. And you can just feel that it's cold and not moving very well. So that is that, a good old WD-40. Actually, that's probably one of the smoothest ones. Um, that's probably even smoother than the Tri-Flow, um, to be perfectly honest there. Silicone spray. That one works very well as well, nice and smooth. White lithium grease. That one had some push to it. Mm. A little snap, a little crunch. And the you know, graphite uh, goes right in, no problems at all. Really. So that's the cold test. Uh, it seemed like one, two, three over here. Uh, these these were the slowest. These were the hardest to put the key in and the hardest to uh, actually get it going. Probably the hardest one of all was probably the, uh, the this one right here. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see what that's going to look like inside of there, but, uh, yeah, definitely in the, in the super, super cold, that's the kind of stuff that you're going to see with these different ones the the super, super dry, this one was the easiest to do in the cold. Um, just from, from what I saw here. So, um, that's how these are going to react after they've been heated up, after the lubricant started to break down, after we've added some dirt and grit to it, and then, uh, put them in the cold. Uh, it seems as though the 
this one seems to work the best. And actually the WD is kind of uh, surprising me so far. Uh, it's actually, uh, it was pretty easy to, uh, to turn that and offered one of the least resistance out of, out of all of them. So um, we're going to go ahead and uh, start taking these apart here in just a minute and uh, see what it looks like inside. So, Hey guys, it's the end of the video. Um, you know, help me out and help me help you out. Uh, right below the description box right here is a red subscribe button. Subscribe to me and then you're going to get the latest and greatest information that I put out. Sometimes it applies to you, sometimes it doesn't. Um, you know, it, it's just going to at least let you know that uh, we're putting out new and current information. And then right over here is a thumbs up button. Give me a thumbs up. Help this video uh, rank higher in the searches for the search terms that you're using and let other people be able to see this. Um, you know, that's the best way you can help. Interact. Leave a comment. I will get back with you if I can and try and help you answer your questions. But the more you interact and post this to Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and spread this through the social media, uh, the more that allows me to be able to help do more videos. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, subscribe share and like. Thanks a lot guys. Appreciate it.